Guys, imagine a line around the Earth where day and night are almost equal all year, where diverse life thrives in warm, lush environments. Welcome to the equator, an invisible line drawn on maps and globes. It encircles our planet at its widest point, a belt of zero degrees latitude. This is more than just a geographical marker. It is a place of wonder where the forces of nature converge. Here, the sun blazes down with relentless intensity. The climate is hot and humid, a crucible for life. The equator is home to a tapestry of cultures, each with its own unique relationship with the natural world. From the rainforests of the Amazon to the coral reefs of the Pacific, the equator teems with life. It is a biodiversity hotspot where evolution has run wild. But the equator is also a place of mystery. Strange phenomena occur here, baffling scientists and captivating imaginations. Water spins in unexpected directions. The magnetic field behaves erratically. And ancient myths and legends whisper of forgotten civilizations and lost worlds. Join us now as we journey to this extraordinary realm. We will explore its wonders, unravel its mysteries, and discover the secrets that lie hidden at the heart of our planet. From the lush rainforests of the Congo Basin to the towering peaks of the Andes, the equator offers a glimpse into the extraordinary diversity of our planet. Prepare to be amazed by the wonders that await us on this extraordinary journey. Guys, did you know that the equator is unique in its relationship with the sun? Twice a year, the sun passes directly overhead. For a brief moment, objects cast no shadow. It is as if time itself stands still. This phenomenon is a testament to the precise balance of our solar system. The equator receives more direct sunlight than any other part of Earth. This intense solar radiation fuels a constant cycle of heat and humidity. Thunderstorms are common, erupting with sudden ferocity. The air is thick with moisture, a breeding ground for life in all its forms. This unique climate shapes the lives of all creatures that inhabit this region. From the smallest insects to the largest mammals, life on the equator is a constant struggle to adapt and thrive in this extreme environment. Guys, another unique characteristic of the equator are the skies above. The equator are a spectacle in themselves. The clouds take on dramatic forms, towering cumulonimbus formations reaching for the stratosphere. These are not the gentle, fluffy clouds of higher latitudes. These are powerful forces of nature, capable of unleashing torrential downpours and electrifying lightning displays. Yet, amidst the drama, there is also a sense of serenity. The night sky at the equator is a breathtaking sight. Far from the light pollution of cities, the stars shine with an almost unreal brilliance. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, stretches across the sky like a river of light. It is a humbling reminder of our place in the vastness of the cosmos. Guys, the equator is not just a line on a map. It is a fundamental part of our planet's structure. Due to the centrifugal force of the Earth's rotation, our planet bulges slightly at the equator. This bulge, known as the equatorial bulge, is subtle but significant. It affects everything from the flow of ocean currents to the gravitational pull we experience. The equatorial bulge is a testament to the immense forces that have shaped our planet over billions of years. It is a reminder that even the seemingly solid Earth beneath our feet is in a constant state of flux. This bulge, though seemingly insignificant, plays a crucial role in the distribution of heat and energy across the planet, influencing weather patterns and ocean currents on a global scale. The equator is more than just an invisible line circling the Earth. It's a powerhouse of biodiversity, a critical climate regulator, and a window into the forces that shape our planet. This unique region, where sunlight beams down more directly than anywhere else, offers a stable, warm climate that fosters life in all its forms and fuels critical weather patterns across the globe. From the rich rainforests of the Amazon to the bustling coral reefs in the Pacific, scientists have journeyed to the equator for centuries, uncovering remarkable secrets that help us understand not only these tropical regions, but the entire Earth. Let's dive into some of the most groundbreaking discoveries that reveal just how vital the equator is to life on our planet. 1835, 
Charles Darwin and the Galapagos Islands. Theory of Evolution. Charles Darwin's journey on the HMS Beagle took him to the Galapagos Islands, located on the equator in the Pacific Ocean. The unique species on the islands, especially the finches, were integral to his formulation of the theory of natural selection. His observations of the biodiversity and adaptation mechanisms in this equatorial region led to his landmark work on the origin of species, which transformed biological sciences. Darwin noted how species on the equator adapt to the stable climate and high biodiversity, helping scientists understand how isolation and environmental conditions drive evolutionary processes. The research of Alfred Russell Wallace and the Malay Archipelago during 1854 to 1862. While studying in the Malay Archipelago, an equatorial region comprising modern-day Indonesia and Malaysia, Wallace independently developed a theory of evolution by natural selection. His observations of the distinct wildlife led to the creation of Wallace's line, a boundary that separates species with Asian origins from those with Australian origins. Wallace's work laid the foundation for biogeography by revealing how equatorial regions can foster vastly different species within close proximity, showing the effect of environmental factors on species distribution. Alexander von Humboldt and the study of the Andes was conducted during 1799 to 1804. German naturalist Alexander von Humboldt explored equatorial South America, particularly the Andes Mountains and the Amazon rainforest. His study of elevation, temperature, and plant zones in the tropics led to foundational work in ecological sciences. Humboldt's contribution to climate science is of great significance to date. Humboldt was one of the first to observe how altitude changes vegetation patterns in equatorial regions, leading to the concept of altitudinal zonation. His work highlighted the interaction between climate and geography in shaping ecosystems. American ethnobotanist Richard Evans Schultes spent considerable time in the Amazon rainforest during 1941 to 1953. Richard Evans Schultes conducted extensive research in the Amazon basin, located along the equator, identifying the medicinal and cultural significance of hundreds of plants. His work has been pivotal in understanding the biodiversity of equatorial rainforests and their potential for medicine. Discoveries of unique plant species and their uses by indigenous people highlighted the importance of preserving equatorial rainforests, influencing future conservation policies and the development of pharmacology. In 1960s, Eugene and Howard Odom's research on tropical ecosystems is a landmark. The Odom brothers were instrumental in the study of tropical rainforests and mangroves, especially around equatorial regions. Their research focused on energy flow and nutrient cycling, which are distinct in equatorial ecosystems due to the high humidity and constant warmth. Their work helped shape modern ecosystem ecology by showing how energy and nutrients move within equatorial ecosystems, which are highly productive and complex due to the consistent sunlight and biodiversity. During 1970 to 1990s, Paul Crutzen carried out his research and the study of the ozone layer over equatorial regions. Nobel laureate Paul Crutzen was a Dutch chemist who received the 1995 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. In 1971, he demonstrated that chemical compounds of nitrogen oxide accelerate the destruction of stratospheric ozone. The year Nobel laureate Paul Crutzen studied the effects of pollution and natural emissions on the ozone layer particularly around the equator, where sunlight is most intense. His work on the impact of chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, led to a greater understanding of ozone depletion. Crutzen's findings highlighted how equatorial regions are susceptible to changes in atmospheric chemistry, influencing international policies to reduce ozone-depleting substances, including the Montreal Protocol. In 1960, Sylvia Earle explored the marine research in equatorial oceans. Oceanographer Sylvia Earle has conducted significant research on marine ecosystems near the equator, particularly coral reefs and underwater habitats in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Her work emphasizes the biodiversity and fragility of equatorial coral reefs, which are highly sensitive to climate change. 
Earl's research helped raise awareness about the importance of marine protected areas, particularly in equatorial regions where ocean currents, biodiversity, and climate change converge to affect global ecosystems. The equator is a biodiversity hotspot, home to an estimated half of all plant and animal species on Earth. From the lush rainforests of the Amazon to the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific, life thrives in this warm, humid environment. The sheer abundance and variety of life here is staggering. Towering trees form a dense canopy, their branches draped with vines and epiphytes. Colorful birds flit through the undergrowth, their calls echoing through the forest. Insects hum and buzz, a constant reminder of the teeming life all around. The equatorial rainforests are a symphony of life, a testament to the power of nature to create and sustain. But life at the equator is not confined to the land. The warm, nutrient-rich waters of the equatorial oceans teem with marine life. Coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea, provide a habitat for a dazzling array of fish, invertebrates, and other marine creatures. The Mysteries of the Deep The equatorial oceans are home to some of the most mysterious and least understood phenomena on Earth. The Coriolis Effect, a force caused by the Earth's rotation, influences the direction of ocean currents. At the equator, this effect is minimized, leading to unusual water behavior. Legends abound of ships becoming trapped in areas of calm, their sails slack as the wind dies down. These doldrums, as sailors call them, are a testament to the complex interplay of forces at work in this region. Beneath the surface, the depths of the equatorial oceans remain largely unexplored. Strange creatures, adapted to life in the darkness and pressure of the deep sea, lurk in these depths. Giant squid, bioluminescent jellyfish, and other bizarre life forms remain hidden from our view. Their secrets waiting to be discovered. Ancient Cultures of the Equator For millennia, humans have lived and thrived along the equator. Ancient cultures along the equator developed rich and diverse civilizations, influenced by the warm, stable climates and abundant natural resources. Here's a look into some of the most notable ancient equatorial cultures and their unique contributions. The Inca Empire thrived in the Andes Mountains near the equator. Ancient civilizations, drawn to the fertile lands and abundant resources, developed unique cultures and traditions. The Mayans, whose territory extended close to the equator in regions of present-day Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize, had a profound understanding of astronomy. They developed an intricate calendar system based on the cycles of the Moon, Sun, and Venus, which they used for religious ceremonies and agricultural planning. In the Amazon rainforest, indigenous tribes have lived in harmony with nature for centuries. Indigenous tribes such as the Yanomami, Kayapo, and Takuna, who live along the equator in the Amazon basin, have a deep understanding of the rainforest ecosystem. They use this knowledge to sustain themselves through hunting, fishing, and agriculture, cultivating crops like manioc and maize. Their knowledge of the forest passed down through generations. In Africa, the cradle of humanity, the equator cuts through the heart of the continent. The kingdom of Aksum, located in present-day Ethiopia and Eritrea near the equator, was a powerful trading empire from the 1st to the 7th century CE. Near the equatorial line in West Africa, the Yoruba and Benin cultures created remarkable sculptures and bronze works. The Yoruba city of Ife produced lifelike bronze and terracotta heads, which showcased intricate metalwork and artistic skill. The Benin Kingdom's art is famous for its bronze plaques and sculptures, detailing the history and achievements of their society. Their art, music, and storytelling reflect a deep connection to the natural world and a reverence for the rhythms of life along the equator. These cultures, often overlooked in our modern world, hold a wealth of knowledge about the delicate balance of life in these unique environments. The Balance of Day and Night Twice a year during the spring and autumn equinoxes, the sun crosses the celestial equator. On these days, day and night are of equal length everywhere on Earth. The word equinox comes from the Latin words equus, meaning equal, and nox, meaning night. The equinoxes are a time of transition, marking the changing seasons. In many cultures, 
they are celebrated as festivals of renewal and rebirth. For people living along the equator, the equinoxes are a reminder of the delicate balance of nature. They are a time to give thanks for the bounty of the earth and to celebrate the cycles of life. The Earth's Unseen Forces The Earth's magnetic field, generated deep within our planet's core, acts as a protective shield against harmful radiation from the sun. At the equator, this magnetic field is weaker than at higher latitudes. This anomaly, known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, has puzzled scientists for decades. Some speculate that it may be a sign of an impending reversal of the Earth's magnetic poles. Such an event, though not unprecedented in Earth's history, could have significant consequences for life on our planet. The equator's unique position on our planet makes it a fascinating laboratory for studying the Earth's magnetic field and its impact on our planet and its inhabitants. Debunking the myths of the equator. The equator has long been a source of fascination and mystery. Over the centuries, numerous myths and misconceptions have arisen about this unique region of our planet. One common myth is that water drains in the opposite direction in the northern and southern hemispheres due to the Coriolis effect. While the Coriolis effect does influence large-scale phenomena like hurricanes and ocean currents, it is far too weak to affect the rotation of water in a sink or toilet. Another myth is that the equator is the hottest part of Earth. While the equator does receive the most direct sunlight, factors like altitude and proximity to bodies of water play a significant role in determining temperature. In reality, some of the hottest places on Earth are found in subtropical deserts, far from the equator. Whispers from the Heart of Africa Africa, the continent bisected by the equator, is a land of immense diversity and rich cultural heritage. From the dense rainforests of the Congo Basin to the savannas of the Serengeti, Africa is a land of extremes. It is a land where ancient traditions and modern life collide, where myths and legends intertwine with reality. In many African cultures, the equator is seen as a place of power and mystery. It is a place where the veil between the physical and spiritual worlds is thin, where spirits roam freely and anything is possible. Tales abound of shape-shifting creatures, mystical rituals, and hidden treasures guarded by ancient curses. These stories, passed down through generations, reflect a deep connection to the land and a profound respect for the forces of nature. An Endless Journey of Discovery the equator is a place of endless fascination, a realm where the familiar meets the extraordinary. It is a line that circles the globe, yet it represents a journey into the heart of our planet and the depths of our imagination. From the bizarre weather patterns to the incredible biodiversity, from the cultural mysteries to the geomagnetic anomalies, the equator challenges our understanding of the natural world. It is a reminder that there is still so much we don't know, so much left to explore and discover. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the equator, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and fragility of our planet. The equator is not just a line on a map, it is a call to adventure, an invitation to explore the wonders of our world and to marvel at the intricate web of life that connects us all. Thank you for joining us on this journey across the equator and its many wonders. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these incredible discoveries. Feel free to share them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more wonders and discoveries.